So, <laughs> I've already forgotten everything I was going to say. Where We're going vlogging. Okay, vlogging part two. Vlogging part two. Episode two. Well, your camera is in a different place than mine. Oh my god. We are going to go do episode two right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had a lot of fun the first time. It was a lot of fun. But we did get a little uh, overzealous, or at least I did, with how quickly I'd be able to turn these episodes around. Overzealous? But now that uh, this is the biggest thing since sliced bread. Well, I don't know how. I, sliced bread was pretty big. Well, this is biscuits. It's, that, I mean, it's like yes, the evolution of that's sliced true. bread. That's true. I thought you meant like our show was better than sliced bread. Is our it, biscuit show. Is it not? Like, do you like... It is. It's just like we don't have enough views to really say... This is better than sliced bread. Well, then you gotta, we gotta push this. How are we gonna push this? Speaking of, how do we push this? Like, obviously, the Facebook share thing works. Oh, what's, um. What's the next move for blogging? The more views we get, the funnier we were get. Oh, so, okay. guys, wow. get on board. Views for comedy? <laughs> I don't know. How does this work? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think maybe you pay money to YouTube or something. You pay? That's not how it works. I can confirm that. Oh. If it costs money, I wouldn't be doing it because I am broker than broke. All right, so the point is... Cheap this is, biscuits. <laughs> this was actually supposed to be a cheap date, and now we're going to go somewhere <laughs> now, that actually is going to cost Before, it was going to be KFC. Oh. And, uh, yeah. We're here at Chicago's Chicken and... Try again. Man. Chicago's Home Chicken and Waffles. Chicago's Home Chicken and Waffles. Yep, here we are. We're Who currently looking for... Oh, uh, we know nothing about the place. How did we no. wind up at a place we know nothing about? Um, well, our guest tonight, he suggested this place. Yeah. Um, his name is Josh. Sam. And Sam works with him. And that's all we know about Josh as well. We don't know a lot about our guest. We don't know a lot about the place. It's just going to be kind of an adventure for everyone involved. It's going to be fun if he goes by a different name than Josh. Well, maybe he's also on the lamb. I didn't know this place actually had biscuits because it's called Chicken and Waffles. Uh, but we looked on the menu and they apparently have like six different types of biscuits. Oh, shoot. Be, oh. shoot. <laughs> I forgot twice. about the bleeping. Oh, uh, it's all right. I'll take care of it. Thanks. I got a lot of voice clips. Cool. Oh, and we're going to make some changes to the question structure so it's actually yes. scientific. More straightforward. My graph will be easier to understand. Have you even started the graph? We don't have a lot of data yet. So no. I mean, I put some thought into it, and it's a well thought out graph. Good stop. Josh is waiting for us. <laughs> you, you are. It is playing. It is live. Is it playing or recording? Live. It's, it's, just live. it's live right now. It's <laughs> it's red. All right, it's blinking. It's ruined. It's, it's too much pressure. Okay. Uh, point number one. Uh, my name is True Phoenix. Sam. It's my channel. Blah. Two. Oh, I got a new coat. I got a sweet new coat. It's the first like business coat I've ever had. I'm gonna stop talking about my coat now. My biscuit expectations are I don't know because this was Josh's idea and this is a chicken and waffles joint, so who knows if they know how to make biscuits. And uh, was there a fourth thing? There was. I forgot it. Oh, it was. Uh, what do you think of the place? This place, uh, I didn't know it existed until today when Josh told me about it. Uh, and it's called Chicago's Home Chicken and Waffles, even though it's in Cleveland. So I'm gonna have a biscuit here tonight. I'm good. My name is Alanda. We are blogging again, week number two. I forgot the rest. Okay, so... <laughs> Personal, Personal fact. fact. Um, I really need to get a new coat. He has a new one. I need a new one. That's my personal fact. I don't what know do anything you, else. What do you think of the place? The place is um, confusing. Uh, fancy. There's a fireplace. I feel like they should sell sushi. Um, but it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. And what are your biscuit expectations? Uh, also all over the map. I heard the cornbread can give you a concussion, so I am <laughs> just not really sure <laughs> about the biscuits. <laughs> it's up in the air still. So we'll see. We'll see. Awesome. Do you need them recited? Do you know the yeah, questions? Yeah, ask me the questions. Okay. What is your name? I'm Josh Fry. Can you give me a personal fact, Josh Fry? Let's get your hands. Personal fact? Your hands are uh, I'll stuff. give you two. I have no sense of style on purpose. Do you want to show them the shirt just so they get a taste? Oh, yeah. See, I have the um, my okay. Christmas present, the Dude Abides shirt. All right. 
It's mixed with Tron. Nice. Thank you. It's not due to bots. We go. Up. Sure. And um, I'm currently trying to uh, design a game, a board game. Oh, snap. Should should we play your game on my channel? Like, should we record that? It will be impossible. Well, oh, snap. it'll be a long video. What do you think of the place? Um, <laughs> Aside from that, that's good wine. I feel like it's really fancy. I feel like I'm, I might be in, like, the Black Panther movie, and this is, like, a really oh. fancy restaurant that shoots, like, that makes soul food. Yeah, it's nice. That might that might be racist. I'm gonna take that to the judges, but uh, I, I hope it's not racist. The, the movie's like about a super fancy African nation, right? So it's like, Do you think we don't know what Black Panther's about? I don't know. Well, you picked this place, so what drew you to it? Um, the chicken and waffles, because I don't find a lot of places that serve chicken and waffles. So I originally thought it was. A different soul food place that was really small and tiny, but I got it wrong. So we're here kind of by accident. <laughs> Fate. And your biscuit expectations on the night, Josh Fry? My biscuit expectations, uh, I hope that they are flaky. That is my main thing about biscuits. I hope that they're hard, a little bit hard on the outside, soft on the inside, flaky. That's a good expectation. He said Alanda, and then you, when you looked at him, he said Alanda, and I looked at him, and he said you, and I just got confused by the horror. I'm not doing what the fuck. <laughs> so what happened is, the biscuits aren't ready yet, so they gave us an order of corned beef. Fuck, <laughs> curse too! Corn so beef. they get... On the house! <laughs> Alanda, what do you have to say about this? Um, I am interested in feeling the cornbread. I think I'm going to save my appetite though <laughs> for the biscuits. Josh, do you have anything to offer corn about the thoughts. cornbread situation? <laughs> I'm going to represent the cornbread in getting a restraining order against the lion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So this is uh, Chicago home chicken and waffles. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Yep. You guys are just bomb bad. <laughs> Uh, this is their fried this? waffle, which is, uh, has been described as their version of an elephant ear. And yes. the kitchen is literally incapable of making biscuits tonight. So we're going to be eating this instead. So I thought everybody would say a little something about it. And then we'll just eat it. Sam, with a facial expression, how has this night been for you regarding biscuits? <laughs> Very good. Say the question one more time. Uh, so, so if you had to visually express how you're feeling right now because of no biscuit. Not great, but uh, I'm sorry. It's, cool. it's just I'm not. Well, we're going to work on it. Yep. How do you feel? Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. I'm so sad. I'm no biscuit. To this place. I know. Right. No I know. biscuit. Right, so what's going to happen now is you're going to record me taking some. This is an okay consolation prize. It is, but they let us on. <laughs> <laughs> so I honestly say, it's like a spoon player. Oh snap. Um, despite the situation at hand, this is actually pretty delicious. And I don't remember the questions, and I'm a little tired now, so I'm not going to go into them. I think texture. Oh, it it actually does taste a lot like, uh, what did you say it was? An, An elephant, elephant ear. ear. You got, I'm going to let you guys have some because I've eaten a bunch of it. Sweet. But... Uh, as far as a biscuit, zero out of ten. <laughs> Not a biscuit. We just this just isn't a biscuit. Uh, but as far as a dessert goes, I would rate this maybe a seven, like a solid seven dessert. All right, all right, all right. Uh, all right, let's give it a go. Super sweet. Super sweet. Yeah, get ice cream if you like uh, ice cream on your cake. I do. I like ice cream on my cake. We're gonna get there. Okay. So, as you eat this, funny story, uh, listeners. I was actually holding the camera up upside down for the entire time. So, so what is the? Um... I'm gonna mute you, Josh. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I'm cutting that part off. <laughs> <laughs> what what is I mean... the texture of the uh, the dessert? The <laughs> biscuit. 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 Yeah. Biscuit. Um. One more. Still has to go to zero out of ten because it's it's zero not a biscuit. Zero out of ten biscuit. Not a biscuit. This is not a biscuit. Um. This is a sham, Ooh, but a sham. it is a delicious sham, <laughs> so it's fine. We'll work it out next week. <laughs> Numerical rating. Oh, you said oh, zero. zero. How about yeah. a dessert? You want to give it a rating as a dessert? That um, could be season four. Okay, I will give it a four. 
four out of ten. Four out of ten desserts. I haven't had a lot of dessert. Not that's a nice. fan of elephant that's ears. Cool. <laughs> All right, so let's get in here. Close down the honey. Get in there. It's still dessert. Oh. <sighs> I'm gonna have to flip this over. All right, Josh. So, uh, tell me about presentation. Tell me about texture. Ah, I think it looks really cool. Okay. Um, I'm not a huge ice cream person, but I like it on top of stuff, so it's, it was awesome. All right. Um, how about as a? Be, I, I would give it like a. As far as elephant ears go, I would definitely give it probably an eight out of ten. Hmm. One of the best elephant ears I've ever had because it's so crispy. Hmm. As far as okay. the biscuit goes, I'm going to go like zero out of ten. <laughs> it's not a biscuit. All of my expectations not meant for biscuits. Oh, man. Chicago home chicken and waffles really just fails at biscuits. <laughs> Here we are at the end of vlogging part two. Sure. Not quite as satisfied as we were in part one. Ooh. Yeah. Go right for the jugular. Well, I mean... I don't know if you saw the footage, but there weren't any biscuits. There were not biscuits, which is not. weird for a show about biscuit logging. Yeah, and it's not like they told us when we got there that there were no biscuits. They let us on. He brought out butter, saying that the biscuits would just be a little longer. They would be coming with our meal. And then he brought our meal, and they still weren't ready. And then later, there just weren't any biscuits. Was there anything good about the trip? Uh, I mean, the chicken was great. The... Yeah. the Beans were good. Okay. Cajun beans and rice, definitely a plus. They didn't know anything else we ordered. So. Well, we ordered those two things. There was a waffle involved. We did get a fried waffle for free because we waited yep. how long? Two Ooh, hours, two and a half two hours. hours, all said yeah. and done to eat. So yeah. Uh, and didn't even find out there were no biscuits till the end. Till the very end. Well, I mean, the very end was waiting for the bill, which was also bad. But I think at this very point bad. we're just trashing Chicago home waffles and okay, chicken. Okay. Well. They have so. great chicken, if you have a lot of time, <laughs> and you're not hungry when you get there. Their happy hour looked decent, but we also missed that. We also missed that. Yeah. But that was at least our fault. Admittedly. So, this has been episode two of vlogging. <laughs> I guess just vlogging, because we didn't... Just... wool logging because we ate a waffle. We shot footage of that. Yeah. And, uh... Vlogging is not as... It's not great. No. It's really not a great title, yeah. which is why we're going to do blogging in the future. We're going to do biscuit logging. We should probably ask up front. We did. For our stat- We did, We actually. tried really hard we to make sure did. biscuits were there. We asked about the biscuits to begin with, and he was like, oh, yeah, well, we have some cornbread. You already told them the story. If you guys have any ideas where we should go next that might actually have biscuits, please biscuits. let us know. In uh, stock, not just on the menu. And if you'd like to tag along... Also, let us know. Like, Definitely. favorite, subscribe, all that good crap. We're going to do more. And uh, closing comments from the peanut gallery. Uh, I, I mean, there were no biscuits. so. There were no biscuits. I got nothing. I get, is that enough? Like, you think it was going to be good enough? There's going to be some funny in there? Probably. I mean, I said cheap biscuits. That's That always gets a laugh, you know? Who was listening normally when cheap biscuits? Get I don't. I don't know. They just sound funny. I. <laughs> okay. Do they you're, not sound funny? I gotta. You just, I just busted up laughing. You did it. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So. So you hit can, the little button. Uh, the stop one. Yeah. <laughs>